they're still really proud of their recent win at the Australian Board Riders Battle at Burley. Not just a surf event, but a marathon sprint to tag your, <laughs> your competitor. They did a great job. Thomas Woods and company uh, bringing it home for Burley. Assistant on tour, former runner-up at this event as we... Look at Liam start during the break. This is a 3-5. Yeah, just the opening uh, wave here from Liam. You can see he's sort of coming behind the section uh, all the time. And then this looks like the replay of Ethan Ewing's first wave. Jams it off the, the first hit. Streaking down the line. Have a go at the speed here. Still more momentum down the line and just throws <laughs> the, absolutely everything. The kitchen sink at this final section. And uh, the big layback hammer to finish things off. Major part of it, the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach presented by Bonsoy. Watching Liam O'Brien get things going with Ethan Ewing in the lineup. Driving off the top a bit, just kind of a tap there. And he will kind of run out of room as he steps off. As we roll in now, deep positioning way up the point there for Liam O'Brien. Needing a 5-0-1. Oh, cool. Layback slide off the lip. Ethan's watching everything from out the back and slams into another tail throw. God, so impressed with the options that Liam has. We're going to match up together, and um, I don't think we matched up on the CT before, so it's the first time, and um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a fun, a fun matchup. We're definitely both going to try our best, and one of us is going to be in the semi, so that's pretty oh, cool. Oh, mate, I can imagine both of you rubbing your hands together at the idea of that matchup. Only going to take off on great waves, but, uh, you know, Liam, with nothing to lose here, he's trying to build the scoreline underneath Ethan Ewing. Liam O'Brien has given Ethan some trouble in the past as he Woo! goes for a big throw tail to beat the section. Nice rhythm down the line, snaps it off the lip again. Hustling towards this section. Nice speed turns off the top, but now off the bottom. Love wow. these extended slides that he's thrown down on demand. That Ethan let go. Let's watch the replay here. So pumping down the line here. Clicks with that first little section. Keeps projecting. Now he starts to open up. Throws the tail high. Readjusts. Gets the balance back in the stance. A series of front side snaps all the way down the line. Up and over this foamy section, and then gets this strong finish as well with a layback hack to uh, to really complete that ride, to bookend it. Started off radically, lots of work in between, and then gets the, the powerful finish. Oh, just so agile on his feet, staying nice and light. Board's looking really good from what we understand, a modified version of the Juliet model, of Ethan's uh, signature model. That one stab in the dark. You can see uh, the Mick Fanning fins there just blowing them tail high. A really swept back, swept back fin for these really rocket out boards. Just helps settle and control the tail of the board. Up and over that section. Lots of drive. Then now is going to wake up for his second wave of the matchup. First turn, big vertical fin ditch out in front for oh. that carved to tail release. Whips it off the lip again. Total control and mastery of that oh, DHD damn. surfboard. Unbelievable read for Ewing. You can uh, you can tell what Liam was trying to do there, but uh, behind him on a bigger, better wave, Ethan Ewing. You can just see there's a difference in the speed execution of these turns. And you're watching one of the most efficient surfers on the tour at the moment. Radical tail slide into snap. No speed loss between any of those turns and then clicks with that finishing maneuver. There's so much speed. You can see he's actually accelerating through it, gets the tail release, re-engages the fins, quickly brings it back under his body again. So low to the surfboard as he gets up and through the lip. Watch the compression in the, in the legs. Nice and low to the deck, well balanced. Man, this guy. Ethan Ewing looking incredible. Now Liam O'Brien stepping on the gas. Driving into a little layback, and he will try to find a better section down the line, building some speed, winding up for a big slob, Whoa. and lays back and does not recover. Seems to be cutting into the water a little bit deeper. 
Liam again, hunting sections to go Whoa. big and just lays into a meat hook of a carve. Lays it down again and blows the tail out. I love his energy. God, as I say that, he's just stepped it up a gear. He given Ethan trouble in the past. He's got him a few times as we look at this wave. Driving off the bottom here, a longer, more aggressive snap. Bang through the lip again, and then this final one leans into it so hard. Actually gets a little tail release through that turn, but manages to hang on to it. But you can see he, he's increased his energy output by probably 10 to 20% on this wave. And uh, this is exactly what he, he's going to have to do if he wants to uh, sort of match Ethan for power and speed. A beautiful turn there. Just, mate, just stays connected to the wave uh, uh, for 90% 90, 90 of that turn. Then that final 10% just lost it, but then re-engages the fins, keeps that rail of the board smooth. And then this final turn here, watch him just throws his whole body into it. Back foot almost coming completely off the tail pad and just shoves it back down. Great execution. Trying to find a way to come back in the seat. Ewing might have a go at this one. So he's seeing a way to improve on a 727. There's that cool tempo and rhythm. Now stepping into his first turn. Cool snap off the lip. Attacking that one down the line. Driving into a big hammer in his first fall of the matchup. Hey, Liam O'Brien, let's check the replay here. Ethan Ewing, pumping, driving. Look at the hands, very neutral in position, slightly forward. Jams on the brakes as he snaps through the lip there, but then uh, hits the accelerator again, up and over this foamy section. And now gets into this final moment and just ropes it around and just loses it. Outside edge, catches, and over he goes. But uh, luckily, just scoops his board up. That was radical. Liam's up again. Nice fading wrap to kick things off. Ton of speed. Quick tight jam on the pocket. And then wraps it again. Needed something really major to try to get the score. And we'll see him just throw the fins out no. into reverse. No, but no, no. he knew right away that wasn't going to be it. DH ended up on top. And that model was used for that win as well. So the Juliet. Bit of magic. Liam O'Brien up and out. Needing an 8-4-5 now with five minutes to go. Ethan looking to go back to back with his trophies. Take a victory lap. And Liam looking interested. Ethan Ewing rolls in with 30 seconds and flows into a foam climb. Another one just to get down into some open face. White water's keeping him honest there but still looking real clean in his transitions as he's just kind of going through the motions on that final effort. 10 seconds left. And oh, Liam, hang on. Hold Liam the might phone. get into this one. O'Brien up in time. Needs an 8.45. He's hustling down the line, going for something big. First turn, nice and clean. Setting up a wrapping cutback. Staying engaged on this wave and just a little setup off the top and throwing a fin throw and he gets caught. Not going to be the number he was looking for. And you're looking at a man there that is in total control, in fine form, and uh, is really starting to uh, announce himself as the man to beat for this competition. What a role for Ethan Ewing. 8-5, 7-2, 7.